Hello, I'm Gary Sliman. I'm the president and founder of Great Transition Strategies. Today's topic, values. Let me have you feel your values as opposed to just talking about them. Pick a time of a significant professional achievement that you've had. Have it in your head. I want you to feel, feel the emotions, who's around you, what's going on. What was personally most important to you about that event? Name what was personally most important to you. Teamwork, positive impact, communication, transparency, what are all those things? Mentorship, growing individuals, name it. Let's go to the other end of the spectrum. Name a time, think of a time where you were professionally conflicted. Oh, I don't want to go into that meeting. This is not good. I don't like the way things are going. What was personally most important to you in that event? Name them. And that might be, again, communication, respect, lack of autonomy, lack of transparency. Okay, so you, now you name those two. Now, pull out some values that those represent. I'm sure they represent some. So what are some values? Maybe it's respect. Maybe it's communication, teamwork. It comes from both sides. Here, usually it's the lack of. Here, it usually is. It existed. You have just named some values and brought them to the top of mind. And you did that not by thinking about it, and you experienced them. You experience your values every day. You experience them when things, when they're being fulfilled and you're in alignment and you're happy with the way things are going. That's telling you, my values are being fulfilled. Here, when you're conflicted, you're out of alignment and you're being unfulfilled. So that's how we experience our values every day. So what are values? Values are those attitudes, those beliefs that motivate us and set our standards of behavior for us. When you come up with a value, I think when I work with individuals that I coach, we work on bringing them to the top of mind and defining them. And the definition is a behavior that you expect to fulfill that value. Example, respect. Maybe your definition is, let's see, equal deference to everyone in the organization. And then maybe I say, well, respect is giving the deference to those folks up in the hierarchy. We both said respect are our top values, but we both define them differently. So the behavior to fulfill them is completely different. So when I fulfill my behavior, when I use that behavior, you're going to be upset with me. I'm going to put you out of alignment. So understanding what your value is, how you define it, which is the behavior, the behavior you expect to have it fulfilled is extremely helpful for individuals. And many times they realize, hey, I am really in alignment with my organization my team, the way we do things, I'm really aligned. Or, hey, I have some problems with this area and I need to, I need to resolve those. Values drive us. Values give us our motivation. They drive our behaviors and they set the standards for our behavior. So that's why I believe values are need to be top of mind. And that's one of the first things we need to do in assessing an individual because they are your foundation on how, on what motivates you and drives you as a leader. Thanks for listening. Hope you found that helpful. Contact me. I would love the opportunity to work with you and help you identify and define your behaviors as a leader.